Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome once again to another Cram Seek Reviews. And this time we are looking at Legacy Evolution Beachcomber. He's a deluxe figure, of course, and it includes a Paradise Parakeet. So, this is Beachcomber, part of the Legacy Evolution series. He's got some artwork on the box side, of course, and of course, Beachcomber on the other side of the box. And we are going to unbox him and look at Beachcomber. So first we pulled him out of this open window box. We gotta remove him from his fist ties, of course. And this is where his weapons are. Or the parakeet is wrapped in a paper. And of course his instructions or transformation manual. And here we have Beachcomber. Beachcomber is a generation one character, of course, and he comes with these accessories, which is the small parakeet and a single gun. And this is a very nicely made figure by Hasbro. Good on you, Hasbro. So you can see here on the details here, look at that G1 head sculpt with the blue face and silver visor. It's all about logo on his chest, some colors on his tummy or stomach, some silver paints on the legs and is of course his blue parts has got some nice color to it and then he's going to whoop, hold his gun of course like this so he's, he's got the wrist rotation and you can attach the parakeet small parakeet here on the side of his shoulders and there's beach converse little pet of course so it's got some nice details here, even those uh, metal surface on the side panel of his arms. So here we have Beachcomber. As you can see the details here, it's well made. Hasbro really did an awesome job with this guy. I don't see any like hollow parts or empty gaps on the legs on the arms, which is very good. It's got some nice quality plastic here and the wheels is made of rubber, I mean the tires. So you can see even his fists or arms is articulated. Very rare for a deluxe figure nowadays. So very good one. So now we are going to look at his articulation of course and his arms move outwards, rotates of course, got bicep swivel. And I've said before, he's got wrist rotation, of course elbow articulation, waist rotation, the heads move up a bit and down a bit, but it basically moves around. And he can do splits as well, like this. And it's got some tire rotation, his knee articulation as well, and some ankle rocking on the side. So it's very poseable, just like a regular deluxe figure. And you can also attach his guns on the side of his arms, like this, should you want to. And it's got some ports there on the side of his arms, even on his back. Whereas you can also attach this gun and store it behind or he's on, on his back, of course. So it's very, very good on Beachcomber to have these um, ports. You can also use those weaponizers and stuff for these kind of 5mm ports. So now we are going to transform him. First, we bring down this part of the roll cage or roll bar then open this back side of his legs bring this down the heels support like this and lift this up in the back another part of the roll cage or roll bars and then rotate the feet fold them like this tap them together of course as you can see that's the front part of the dune buggy already then we're gonna push this one, make sure it's stabbed in. And the torso you also have to pull forward. Extend it down a bit. And then attach these roll bars together. And then you're with the arms, you should simply just stab it on the side of the front part of the dune buggy here, like this. Do the other arms as well, oops. Make sure they're properly tabbed in. Then close this on the bottom of the 
dune buggy make sure it's properly angled so it doesn't come off let's just fix this make sure just everything tapped together accordingly and make sure that the angle of the wheels is facing like this and make sure that the wheels are tab as well and the seats and there you go the transformers will return messages we now return to the transformers so here is beachcomber in his alt mode which is a dune buggy too bad they didn't put any autobot logo on his hood so as you can see here his head is situated in the back of the car like the engine of the dune buggy and rolls nicely as well and like the most g1 or toys of beachcomber it's really not that hard to make this guy look perfect because even with the g1 toy he was also very you know very accurate with his alt form and his robot look so you can also attach the weapons on the side of a car like this or in the back you can even attach the paragate here in the back of the car which is where the engine is situated as you can see here you can put it as here as well so as long as it doesn't get in the way of any parts and as you can see here the tires as i've said before all four tires are made of rubber you can actually detach it this is not very common nowadays with the uh, deluxe figures or or car modes in transformers or hasbro so now we are going to transform him back into his robot mode and it's fairly bit easier transforming him back into his robot mode so he basically just popped out these parts bring down the seats of the beach cumber bring down this roll cage as well like this oh and make sure you close this cover before you fold them in to the back part of the legs bring down this part of the torso and pop out the pops out the head and there you have it we have beach cover as you can see the wheels on the rear are larger compared to the wheels on the front which is what a dune buggy is and as i've said before it's a deluxe figure but he's fairly taller than small bumblebee but fairly shorter than a regular hound deluxe figure and this is voyager class blaster of course for size comparison so i hope you guys enjoyed my review of transformers legacy beachcomber with this little parakeet and this gun thank you for supporting the channel see you next time the transformers will return after these messages